Hey, beard look. Explosion happened early. All right, I'm just gonna hang out over here for a second. Guys, I said I wanted a burly explosion, not an early explosion. That's a Shirley explosion. No, that's a Hurley explosion. Well, actually, that could be a burly explosion. Good work. Oh, burly Hurley, hair so curly. Don't be surly, bear those pearlies and stroll next to your pearly girly. In the news today, I saw this thing. That thing was a headline, and the headline was this. Unsafe food putting lives at risk. Ah, that's just scientists blowing this stuff out of proportion. It's not like there's exploding pumpkins or something. Good thing I have an exploding replica. Ow, oh, why did I get an exploding replica? This one's safe, I promise. 100% certain, right? Yeah. Actually, the article talks about foodborne illness, which is apparently on the rise. Oh no. It says you can help avoid it by washing your hands and cooking properly and stuff. But here's some more tips that I've learned by making them up off the top of my head right now. Whenever you eat food, do a shot of whiskey. Also, when you don't eat food. The alcohol will get rid of all the pathogens and or help you get drunk. If you're not legally old enough to drink whiskey, I recommend beer. If by some odd chance you live in a place where you can't legally drink either, dip all of your food in mouthwash. Whenever you eat, make sure you yell what you're eating. I'm eating grapes! I'm eating peanut butter! Or something. That way, if you get sick, there'll be witnesses when you sue. When you eat, make sure you are hopping on one one leg because of reasons. Avoid any foods with a shelf life, which is why from now on I only eat Twinkies and frozen coconut sparkling water. Mmm. It's like I'm on a tropical island in the Arctic. If you're worried about malnourishment due to this new diet, just don't worry about it. To raise awareness, try to drop as many foodborne illness related puns if you're eating with someone else. Mmm. I love the way this chocolate and this strawberry collide in my mouth. Mmm. This burger, it's so good, I could just die diarrhea. This restaurant has a lot of exit signs, but where's the pathogen? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. I mean, I mean, thanks. In other news, Apple's iPad mini to drive 7-inch tablet explosion. That's right, Apple unveiled a mini iPad. Does that mean the 9.7 inch is now a maxi iPad? I still don't own an iPad, and I'm not gonna get one until they get smaller, like this size. But the important thing is Apple's doing stuff, so good for them. You know, a few years ago when they unveiled the iPad, I had to compete, so I released the Wheezy Wad. It was an innovative product and very convenient, all your useful stuff in one little device. Sales were through the floor! Now that Apple's made a smaller device, I'm forced to compete. So now I'm forced to unveil the Wheezy Wad Teeny, or Wheezy Weenie for short. And here it is. Is. Well, doesn't look smaller, does it? That's because I put the power in the user's hands. Free of purchase, it comes with the hampered modeling reducer, or hammer for short. <laughs> Simply pound it down to size. Wheezy weenie, coming to stores, probably sometime maybe. Probably shouldn't have put that gas can in there. You're probably wondering why there's all these explosions in today's video. That's because we're testing out a new thing called Explosion Wednesday. Oh, come on, you've been testing that out for years. You're not ready yet. No, I haven't, and even if I have, you have to be vigilant with your testing to make sure people are ready. Excellent work. I'm keeping you in check, clone, and you pass the test. My work here is done. <gasps> Actually, no, you didn't finish sweeping the kitchen. Wheezy. Hello, welcome to the end screen. Just a reminder, if you haven't left a super note, follow the link below and leave your super note as a video response to that video. Also, there's a gathering here in Chicago. We're watching episodes 4, 5, and 6 of Platoon of Power Squadron on Friday. Info in the doobly-doo. If you can't remember the date, just punch it in your wheezy weenie.